Now, I know that Terry's come across your home and day before. Can you just check your outside? Right, here when you have. Have you come across? I'm not, I'm not sure. I might have done a while ago. Okay. Um, the very first time we came across Jahari, um, even the name, it sounds sort of mystical, doesn't it? Jahari Rinde. And I was really disappointed to find out that it stood for Joe and Harry. <laughs> so it's Joseph, Joseph Luft and Harry Ingham is their model. Two psychologists. The model focuses upon um, how we see ourselves and how others see us. And it also brings out the importance of feedback and eliciting feedback from others. Um, as you'll see at the moment, these four panes in the window are equal. The reality is that they're not. And we'll go into that in a bit more depth. It's built around what's known to others about us, what's unknown to others about us, and what we know about ourselves and what's unknown to self. So I'm going to start up in here. And uh, what we've got here is public arena. So this is stuff that's known to us and also known to others about us. What might that be? What would fit into this area? Your name. Okay, so basics such as your name. Of course it depends upon your relationship with the person, but, but your name. What else? What were you quite willing to share on day one? Job information. Okay, so job title, the role, responsibilities, and maybe you should get to know people a little bit more. What else might come out? Interests? Mm -hmm. yeah. Hobbies? Family. Family, whether you're married, whether you've got children or not. <coughs> and then, of course, as those relationships grow, other stuff that might come out? Do you support people always? Okay, who you support football wise, so on and so forth. <laughs> the stuff that you generally find in here is the safe information. Stuff that you're willing to share with other people, and it's stuff that you know about yourself. Um, we're going to go to the right. And what we've got here is the blind spot, which is known to others but unknown to self. Um, and this is where feedback can be incredibly beneficial. So, what might you find in the blind spot? So people's perception of you, maybe. Um, maybe people's perception of your strengths. Um, could it also be that sometimes we want to be perceived as this, but actually we're perceived as that? So for example, if you wanted to be perceived as confident, how might you be perceived? Overbearing. Uh, if we wanted to be perceived as um, pioneering, how might we be perceived? A risk taker. So, how we want to be perceived isn't always how we are perceived. And you can have, remember on day one, we looked at SWAT. We can overlay SWAT in here. Because could there be strengths that you have <coughs> and others see in you that you don't see in yourself? And weaknesses? Yeah. Could also be opportunities that others see for you that you are blind to at the moment? And likewise threats. The thing with blind spot is you can move it in that direction. What we're looking to do is increase the public arena. How would you do that? Be more transparent. Or being more transparent. By going out and asking for feedback, eliciting feedback. Remember what Tony was saying the other day about eliciting from people that you would genuinely trust, people who you believe would give you quality feedback and honest feedback that would be a benefit to you. So it's not a model for giving feedback, it's a model that demonstrates how powerful feedback can be. Uh, have you ever come across people where their blind spot might be more over here? Oh, yes. Huge. <laughs> you know? And why could that be? Just lack of self-awareness. Okay. So maybe lack of self-awareness, poor emotional intelligence. Yeah. Don't see how they're perceived by others. 
maybe don't look for feedback and maybe others aren't willing to give them feedback because of the consequence.